What's up guys? This is the Brave One and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off what happened last time, um, my strategy to attack the Barbary States failed rather epically um, because the Barbary States provide no money and the attacking the Ottoman Empire, who declared war on me because I now had new territory, did not go well either because I attacked Cairo, they blockaded my port and things went badly very quickly. So I've decided I'm going to change my strategy somewhat and instead go for Portugal um, with my well I have to hope my fleet can make it there so I'm probably have to recruit some sixths as well as build an army to get over there I think Portugal is my best bet looking at my major nations Portugal yeah they're allies with Britain so I need to well really I need to keep an eye on when they may feel compelled to um, break their alliance which they did in, in our last campaign or do I just go for Spain anyway because Madrid is excellent and they'll love me and they're a bit weaker because they've not got all this strength and plus we've got the attack New Spain the attack New Spain um, strategy as well so it's to dismantle our port, we need to build a shipyard or a um, trade port. So let's knock down the knock down the they knock down the shipyard, build some new roads, build the new military building, build a couple of units of cavalry because why the hell not? Let's hit N10. If well, that's it, this is it. It might be best to actually go for Spain right off the bat because at least we've then knocked them out quickly rather than rather than having them cause lots of problems. I think I probably need more cavalry than I would like in this army because we don't have that. Um, yeah, no, I'm just not going to get involved in any of these wars. Uh, going to Spain will, probably, will be a lot safer as well because I won't have the problems of... Oh, I've got to my, check my ministers as well. Uh, plus one treasury, plus one management, plus one justice, plus one management. So you go to actually, is our, is our justice guy any good at anything? No, uh, he's pretty sure you do something as well. I can remember you from last time. Plus one treasury, plus one habit management, plus one justice, plus one management. So he's five basis for justice, the same as this guy. Is it this guy? I'm inclined to move him over to the army. There we go. It's the one thing I didn't check. So we've got our cavalry. Marathas and Portugal are at war. Poland and Austria are at war. Prussia and Poland are at war. And the United Provinces and Spain are at war. So have they already broken there? I know they've got more allies. Um, so the what I'm going to do is because my first episode was such a bust, this part will also be an hour special. Um, because well, it, it feels like it should be, um, considering I I uh, mucked it up so well in the first episode. Not that there was a lot I think I could have done that differently. It just feels like that strategy is. A wrong one. Um, so, controller of works. Good. And we've got more cavalry. Maybe build another one. But not go too crazy because we need to recruit infantry more than anything. And we're probably going to have to attack and capture. Spain pretty quickly but the hope is once we take Spain when we take Madrid then Spain itself becomes a very weak power so we don't want to trade with them we want to trade with Britain nope they won't let us can we trade with the Ottomans to help chill their beans don't want to trade with Spain 
Should be 13 colonies. Good. Just to get income. Okay, now don't spend any money. We may end up losing our fleet because of it. Um, but my hope is, is that by trading with the Ottomans, we might actually gain enough positive diplomatic bonuses that they leave us alone. I'm also hoping that being a Catholic nation, a good Catholic nation, when we take Madrid, that they will be um, pleased to see us. Keep ending turn. Yep, send your ships to the Caribbean, please. So this isn't anything to this isn't to say that we won't still lose this campaign by taking Spain, because all they need to do is blockade our main port. So a strong navy purposely and perpetually sat in Malta is very important. That's the big thing to bear in mind here. If I go get the gov governor's barracks, that doesn't get anything we can actually use. Something like that. We're going to start running out of cash fairly quickly. Plus one management, plus one justice, plus one management, plus one management. Or plus one happiness. Uh, so he's... Mm, so basic he's three, becomes four, becomes five, becomes six for the army. So he does beat this guy. Trouble is this guy's not good enough to be in the treasury. He's not good enough to be justice guy. Well, he's, he's just as good at being... A justice guy is this guy. Except this guy's got a bonus for nobility happiness, and this guy's got a bonus for lower classes happiness. So I'd rather go for... See, this guy's got a bon vivant and he's got mistress, so I'd still rather have this guy. Sorry. Well, this guy. Plus a manager for justice and treasury. I've got to look, up, look at these a bit more often as well, actually. Um, so I think Giuseppe Cassini is going to go take his position in the, probably in the army. There we go. Helps keep um, recruitment costs down a little bit. Not that there's very much we can do about that. But the hope is that we can just take Spain and then have a bit of time to just develop some key technologies and probably start to take out the Spanish territories in Europe because ideally we want to um, we want to just knock them out we don't want them to remain in a position to um, frustrate our efforts So let's see how things go. Yep. Still spending. An amusing cad. So the idea is to... We're not going to have any artillery. So the hope is to surround them with good quality line infantry and also to try and smash them with cavalry. Because their cavalry won't... They won't have bayonets, nor will they have square formation. So we should be able to withstand um, a certain amount of their attacks. While also providing quite a decent counterpunch.
and they won't have walls just yet or if they have then that's a, a ridiculous spend well i was about to say it would be a ridiculous way to spend money but at the same time we are about to invade them so maybe it isn't Ideally, I want this ship to clear off. Because if I land here in Cartagena, I think I can just go straight. I can go straight to the capital. Oh no, they have walls by default. Never mind. So we're going to pretty much want to hunker down. So we've got nine recruitment slots left. Two, four, six. Eight. And then a unit of cavalry after that. Uh oh. I mean, if they're coming for me, <laughs> this could be the perfect storm. I mean, it makes it makes me un really uncomfortable that they're sailing towards me with a fleet. Especially as that didn't happen last time. And I wasn't trading with them either. But I mean, if they do, if they do attack me, then boy, have they picked the wrong time to do it. Right when I'm massing my forces for the assault. Yeah, more infantry. And the French. Or are they just fighting the Barbary states. So because Britain's done that, I'm probably going to want to recruit a couple of extra infantry units to sit back as a defensive measure. And the Ottomans are gathering an army. Probably to come and attack someone immediately. Someone like me. But let's get ready to do this. Okay, we're still slightly positive. I want to recruit up as much as possible. I'm going to leave a brig here to make sure we don't get blockaded. And then sail. So we're going to start to turn negative next turn. Maybe doing that might be a good idea just to build a bit more of a buffer. So we're not going to be fully tanked up with units, but we're going to have enough. Because I'm not going to assault Madrid. I'm going to have to sit outside of it. Because I don't think Britain, I think with this ship here, I can't actually sail through the strait to attack Lisbon, even if I wanted to. And even if I could have wanted to, that leaves my army in, um, in a riskier position for a lot longer than I would like. I mean, this is risky in of itself. If they turn around with a big army and attack us, then... And we're officially negative. We've started the clock. To be honest, it's probably not worth waiting for that one unit. Let's move the brig outside. Put the army... Put the army on board the ships. They can get there in one turn. Diplomacy. Minor nations. New Spain. Declare war. <gasps> Whoa, okay. Okay. That's really not good news. France has joined them. And I can't... Okay. I 
Okay, I'll offer. Hmm. That is really bad news. Why is Fra What happened to you? Where's this guy come from? It's usually the guy who's got cross eyes. Okay. What's the best way to go about this? I mean, this guy and his army, that's their star army, so that's asking to land on my coast. Hmm. I don't really want to go for Rome. But again, that still might be preferable to declaring war on all of the, like, you know, Britain and, not Britain, France and Spain. I mean, technically, technically I can ride this out for a couple of turns and see what happens. See if they any alliances are broken. Not between Spain and France, but between um, New Spain and France, because that was unfortunate. And with that British army blocking the strait, I can't sail. I don't think I can get through the strait around to Lisbon. I mean, I could test it with a brig. Hmm. Portugal wouldn't be my preference, but we're not at war. We're not at war with Britain, so that's a a good thing. I don't. I'll check. With, I'll check with my brig if I can actually make it through. Because sometimes for just physically blockade blocking a ship is good enough. Oh, now the Barbary states are there blocking it. I mean, there's always a chance that the... Well, they've got lots of allies now. They've got New Spain, France, and Genoa. And Genoa are precocious little sods. Okay, go back in port. Sit in turn again. Go on, France. Clear out the Barbary States. So you can make it through there. But I don't think my ships have got the range. Sadly. Hmm. Strategy has gone slightly awry. So my hope was by now, in terms of turns, I'll have take I'll have been uh, I've taken Madrid. Let's see if I take if I take Morocco, Spain will just go for me regardless. New Royal Air, Christina. What ship is that? Is that just a bunch of chaff? <sighs> Too bad I've lost a bit of move there now. Okay, I'll do it enough to do it next turn. Diplomacy, New Spain, still allies. Made nation, France. Whoa, no, wrong button. My hope was I could maybe, if I could get France into an alliance with me, maybe they would back me. Um, oh, the United Provinces are going to lose their fleet. 
lose their army if they're not careful. Okay. So let's see if I can move, if I can now move, well, I say now, I've got to wait for the Barbary States to do whatever the hell they're doing. Um, I need to see if I can move my fleet through the gap over to, over towards um, Portugal. But again, Portugal still allies with Great Britain at the moment, so I need to see if they've Oh no, they're still allies with Portugal and the Marathas, weren't they? They were allies with Britain and the Marathas. Barbary States are blockading the port, which is annoying. Okay, I can't see it dithering. You do something. Rome might be the best option, as, as, as unhappy as I would be about it. Now, allies, we get access to a school. I think... So if I take Rome, I'm not going to expand in, in the Italian states. I'm going to want to expand elsewhere. So let's take the brig out. Let's get these guys aboard ship. Diplomacy, Italian states. Declare war. Oh, they've got allies of Dagestan. Screw it. Because Dagestan means it's just... Just Dagestan, which is all the way over here. So I don't really care about them being at war with me. I mean... <laughs> okay. Deploy your troops. Put them under siege. Just under siege. Don't do anything too crazy. Get you back in port. Still trading with our allies. We're slightly... Oh, look. Have they done it? Is this... Is now the... Screw you, Bren. So I may have to bring some ships, some infantry back. It's not a great army they're attacking with, so I've not got to take much. I just need to take some so that I've got something a bit more dependable. Because right now this is, it's just dumb. I, and I could recruit some in my in um, in Malta itself, but hey, they're selling out. So we're going to deploy really far back, and I want to use my cavalry to try and knock out as much of their artillery as possible. Because right now we've we have no artillery, and it's impossible for us to get any. That's the interesting dilemma we find ourselves in today. We've taken a... We've taken a territory. We don't really have room to expand. Okay, let's deploy... Way back. In a giant line designed to envelop and maximize musket power put our cover on the flank or as near to the flank as we can get put this cover on the left put our militia on our pikes just behind the lines to provide some sort of support and our general can be here so all the artillery is in the t is inside. If they're not able to fire. Well, they're, if their artillery fires, it will they'll just blow up their own sections. Actually, there's a 
mortar garrison outside of the mortar section outside of the wall. So it's, we're gonna have to almost sacrifice a unit of cavalry to knock out these guns, which it looks like they're going to let us do. reluctant to move too many of my men forward but we did manage to shatter their mortar garrisons so they're not going to cause us as much problems let's move our cavalry over ready let's move some more infantry over more move some more militia over So we should outnumber this unit. Well, we do outnumber this unit. So we can cause it some mischief. And why my sound is messed up. I want to move on my left wing and bring them in range of mortars. Well, the garrison... The mortar garrison have abandoned their guns. Okay, see if you can knock out this unit. A good amount of it. Fall back because they're firing into the combat. Charge those guys in because I don't want them getting any ideas. It's these dragoons. with another cavalry. Pull my cavalry back. Okay, they go after the dragoons. No, don't shoot at them. Pikemen, attack them. Have their mortars abandoned their guns? No, they've picked them back up again, which is frustrating. I've actually done a pull the sneaky maneuver here. I get my cavalry out of here towards my pikes. Although it looks like they're not falling for it. Our cavalry's been lost. Yeah, they got charged by the pikes. That's unfortunate. I'm starting to lose on this flank, so we need to roll up this wing pretty conclusively. I'm managing to knock out some of their units. We are keeping them busy. Pike's coming in. 
which is a concern. Oh, too bad I didn't catch my pikes. So their cavalry is routing. Our pikes are very unhappy, but we're shooting at them. Okay, we need to roll up this flank. Cavalry leg it. Cavalry leg it into their dragoons. problem is, is that we've got no artillery of sorts. Pull these guys back so they can use the advantage of my musketmen here. I could really do with rolling up one of the flanks. Cavalry are wavering, but they are outnumbered now, so that's going to be expected. They aren't going to be losing men from this charge at point blank range. Managed to make them lose their cavalry as well. Mortars are oh, cavalry, infantry is just within range. Let's pull the general back to make sure he doesn't do anything silly. Advance our infantry up. You guys try to take out their general. Oh, lucky volley wasn't enough. Charge these pikes in the rear. Where's my general? The mortars are still behind, but they're getting their guns into position, so. No, actually, you come take the scenic route around the flank. Okay, everyone except the pikes form a new line against the militia. The pikes can form up. They may have artillery, but we are. We need to maintain our discipline in line formation. This pike unit should fall pretty quickly. What I want is to get my general in against these guns before they do too much damage. Easier said than done when everything's returning from the battlefield. You guys can just keep engaging because they're actually doing... Well, you might have to actually pivot slightly over here to face the enemy. Yep, they're in range to hit my... They're in range to hit my artillery, but we need to start giving them... Start giving them new targets. Their Phylarch Armed Citizenry is desperately trying to catch up and 
do something to me. Go on. Chicken wavering. Routing. On to the next guns. Oh, the general's bodyguards charged in. This isn't great. This isn't great because my guys are pretty pants in melee. I'll go for their other artillery first, I suppose. Just charge into them, all of them. Try kill their general. Spanish militia have returned. So these guys need to spin around and hold them off. These guys need to get into the castle. I'm hoping that... Good, we got the general. Good. So let's speed up time and send my general against. To chase down whomever he likes. What I want is for this guy to capture the gate. And everyone tried to kill the pikes. I tried to, actually, I'm going to continue this fight. Because this is an opportunity to kill the mortars, because they can't actually escape. I'm also bothered about killing these guys. Um, it's these mortals I want to get rid of. So then all we need is these guys to make it to the edge of the battle. I mean, I'll run my general around to try and have a go, but I doubt he'll get here in time. Although he might, because they're running for the furthest possible point. No, these guys are going to get here. Which will be a shame. Close victory. It was. That was dodgy. Very, very dodgy. Yes, we lost almost half our army there. They immediately want to make peace. For which my answer is no. Agent detected. Assediato. So the problem is, is what I do here. Because this army, they're definitely gonna definitely gonna get a breach with this artillery piece. So with my navy I can sail up to here. If I do, if I do something like this, I can try and make my make my weakest units a bit stronger. I can probably take these three. Take these three units. Don't know why I can sail just right past them like that. Avanti! 
Get them back to Valletta. So my army is a lot weaker. But that's something I'm going to have to gamble with. But we can recruit some infantry because we are slightly positive. And let's hit end turn. <laughs> yeah, who, who could have seen that coming, huh? Although really, the smart move might be to actually lose Malta. Let Britain have it. Because then my capital will move to somewhere better. Because Malta's a great capital if I'm... If I've got the funds to maintain it defensively. But I don't. So the smart move might actually be to take all my troops and... Flee. Okay, so now we're not going to make any cash. So let's take a sixth rate. Oh, I can't. Actually, if I take my fleet, I can get here. Because the Barbaries aren't going to stop me with their Jebek. No, oh, the British fleet got me. I thought they would avoid that. Oh, no. So then we are doomed. Disband all this infantry. So we're still positive. Keep attriting. Our general's been assassinated. We can't recruit another. They don't they, they don't quite know what they want to do. So I deleted that infantry to see to hopefully mean I could um, to hopefully mean that I could support an engagement with a, with a reduced economy against Rome. But we're just gonna have to hold on and hope our army can replenish to be sufficiently good. Although now it's starting to look like a bit of a silly decision. Because I could start to recruit troops and send them up to support to support my troops. Because their men are depleted. But they've got no mortars at least, so we've got good solid infantry in the combat. Okay, let's keep going like this. I mean Britain want to. It looks like they want to blockade me, but they don't quite know how. So my only fleet is in Malta, which is that brig. But that brig is there, is enough to do what I need to do. And that is to... shuttle supplies to the mainland to support my engagements. So they're selling out again, which should be okay because their army's really weak. Let's fight it. Because at the very least, with my port blockaded, it's bought me an extra turn if they try and attack us. Because they can't land and attack. Well, actually they might be able to because it's so close to the sea. Well, in the same position where the blood has been filled, the blood has been blood of Italian patriots and good Catholics has been spilled. Cavalry on, just put a blockade up. General on the in, in cover. Speed up time. Can my chaps are replenished? And ready to go. Lots of their troops are quite badly knackered. Are they, is that, yeah. They've got one gun going. Which, were this not my general, I'd be tempted to try and go for, but they've got enough infantry out there for me to not want to engage.
It looks like they're after my pikes, as per usual. The AI loves going for pikes. So it looks like they're trying to... They're doing their frustrating giant line formation. And hopefully then, after then, they'll attack. No, I think they're just going to keep forming up, so we may as well just abandon our cover. Because otherwise this is going to take forever. Even so, I'm actually going to run. Because these guys are going to try and pour through the gate. So if we can get up into a position to cover said gate. There we go. Just get up a bit further up into position. Because this Dragoon unit is going to get destroyed. There you go. Push up to about there. I've got a friend asking me about the Witcher. Uh, he's just finished it. He says, what the hell is going on? Um, there we go. So I may as well put this on slightly speed up time because realistically, we all know what's going to happen. They're going to get engaged. Bring my pikes up. General's getting shot to bits. If they want to make it into a melee combat problem, which they do, Pikes ahoy! Oh. Don't worry. Let's pivot my formation around. Because yeah, these guys are these guys are done for. Be it directly or indirectly, they're going to lose a whole lot of men. Yep, there they go. Absolutely continue. Actually no, don't don't attack, you'll kill all my own dudes. I actually go for something more in the middle of a big block of infantry. Not that it really matters a whole lot. Especially as everyone's going to successfully route. But maybe you might kill this provincial line or regiment of line. Ah, oh, this guy's going to go. Nope, we got him. Damn right it was a decisive victory. Lost 79 men. We've almost knocked out the garrison. They're desperate for peace. But they're not going to get it. And we're going to have a bunch of cash. Yeah, they temporarily blockaded our port, but they don't seem to want to stick by it. We're on plus 1500, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money. Well, build and recruit a new general. Plenish my armies. Recruiting a Malta. Patron Torcato Colombo. That better be my actual minister. Yes it is. Good. I 
I can't actually build anything useful there. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Let's get another two units of infantry. Actually about to take Rome. So at the very least, this is going significantly better than my last crack at it, because that went really quite badly wrong. So if I've taken Rome, I want to get good, friendly relations with Spain, because I don't intend to expand in Italy. Instead, I do want to use this as a launch pad to attack. I'm going to have to fight it, because look at that balance of power. Um, I'm not going to want to annoy my friends. That is a recipe for disaster. I'm quickly just getting my charger cable for my iPad because it's about to die. Nothing smart here. Just deploy. Everyone else sit behind them. Just deploy A line. Everyone else sit behind them. To speed this up because why should I not? It looks like they want to try and oh, go on. Are you within? Oh, come on, damn it. Just run the army in so we can get a few volleys off. They're getting shredded. Did it actually make it into combat? Not for long, though. A couple of men left. Let's get. Get my general over here. General v general. Just don't die immediately, I'll spend a grand on you. Good, we got him. Pikes are over there, but only worth two kills, and we get the settlement this turn anyway. So, just try to get some kills. Not that I doubt, I, I doubt these guys would be enough to get them to one chevron, because there's only a dozen guys, but... Don't try, don't get. Awesome. There we go. We've taken Rome. Now we need to start establishing friendships. Barbary states have come in. Rob positive six. Diplomacy. Barbary states. Peace. Why not, you scurvy dogs? A bunch of Jebex. Oh, they do really dislike us, though. If I exempt you from tax. You still dislike us. Don't want to destroy the, the religious college because it gives us happiness bonuses. See, it says we're in imminent bankruptcy, but really, we've still got... We can still get six gold. How did destroying a militia make me make it worse... Really, this isn't good, so I'm gonna have to get rid of my garrison here to remain slightly positive. I mean, land and take you if you want, Brian. In a way, that'll help me out a lot. <laughs> but at the very least, it looks like they don't want to land.
Oh, is it because I exempted them from tax? That'll be why. The smart move may have been to keeping them taxed so I could... Yes, Genoa. I do really need to start... I need to start cultivating a positive set of relationships within Italy. Especially as they'll, they'll probably be a bit unhappy that I took Rome. Build, build, build. Replenish. I mean, no, I can't. I have to not tax them. As long as my ports stay open, that'll be okay. on by a thread. So what's our next target? I mean, if Venice goes for me, then that's going to... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Well, I'm definitely going to defend it, but I'm going to do that in the next part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the cluster hack that is this campaign. Jesus. I had my plan at the start of this campaign, and at the end of it, it's gone to pot. Radio. See you next time, guys. Hope you've enjoyed.